You know her real well as half of the country duo hit group Sugarland and as a solo artist and actress. But what you may not know about multiple Grammy winner Jennifer Nettles is she's got a great love of Broadway. Yeah, the singer-songwriter made her Broadway debut as Roxy Hart in Chicago back in 2015, and she's so looking forward to the return to the stage with a musical she's currently writing mm. about an Italian woman who lived in the 17th century. We can't wait to hear about that, but today Jennifer's dropping a new album called Always <sighs> Like New. It's a collection of some of Broadway's greatest hits. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. You look very sultry on the cover. Yes. Wowza. <laughs> Fancy, yeah. very classy, with an understated bow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what was the first Broadway show you ever saw, Jennifer? The first Broadway show I ever saw, believe it or not. So my my aunt Corley and Uncle Jerry Oppenheimer, they're lifetime New Yorkers, okay? And they took me in the third grade. I got on an Amtrak train in Jessup, Georgia, and came no. all the way no. up to New York City. And they took me to see a chorus line, okay, which was a bit racy for third grade. I was scandalized and also mesmerized. <laughs> I loved it. Was there, is there, what's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Are you a Les Mis person, a Cats? What do you love? I mean, uh, there are so many. It's an embarrassment of riches, actually, to choose from. I mean, I have to say classics, of course, Les Mis. I have to say Oklahoma, which makes an appearance mm -hmm. on this record. Um, and I also, I have to say Wicked. Yes, I love Wicked. When it came onto the scene, you know, it was like so fresh and different, and it was a story of two women. Yeah. And I just was, I was so into that. I mean, yes, we had Gypsy. Yes, we had, you know, Hello Dolly. We had some women, but like this was, it was different when it came onto the scene. How mm -hmm. did you decide what to put on this? I could only, like you said, an embarrassment of riches, so many songs. How did you whittle it down? Yeah, uh, you know, Alex Lacamoire and I, who was my collaborative partner on this for arranging and producing, you might have heard of him. He, he was the orchestrator for Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, the movie The Greatest Showman, the movie In the Heights. I mean, like, he, he is a genius at what he does. We really wanted to make sure that we could honor the original compositions and pay them respect and homage, but elevate them to a different level to make them feel fresh and new so that you could rediscover them. So we really had that musical criteria. We wanted to make sure we had some classics, we had some currents yeah. represented, that we had certain composers, like how do you do a record like this and not put Sondheim yes. on it? Uh, Wait, yeah, there were Jennifer, oh, we think that there might be a typo. Is it true that you're writing a Broadway show about somebody that's a poisoner? We didn't even know that was a job. We didn't know. <laughs> yes, she was a 17th century Italian slow poisoner named Giulia Tofana. Basically, she helped women kill their husbands. Um, <laughs> she was, she was uh, uh, attributed to the first Italian divorce uh, because divorce wow. didn't exist, obviously, yeah. back then. So, yeah, yeah, she really was a liberator of women. And I, I love stories about what I call the hidden half of history because and she was a real woman um, because we, you know, we often don't yeah. get to hear those history through a very limited lens, you know, which is the colonialist white male. So I love stories that, that are, are different and yeah. that share woman's perspective. Well, we, we adore you. Yes. We love that you're in this lane. We know you're still in your country lane, obviously. I was going to say, though, even the show sounds like a country yeah, music song. It does. All right, so here we go. Here's Jennifer Nettle. She's singing Oh, What a Beautiful Morning off of her new album, Always Like New. I love that song, and your, your rendition of it was yeah. beautiful. Jennifer's new album, Always Like New, drops today. Pick it up.